Good afternoon, dear colleagues. We continue working in the Ukraine Crisis Media Center, and the topic of the next press briefing is a preliminary public report on introducing the open customs in Odessa. Our guest is Yuri Maroshevsky, head of Odessa Customs State Fiscal Service of Ukraine. Welcome on stage. Good afternoon. Firstly, Sorry for delay. We came from Odessa here, and I believe that it is very important to inform the public about key reforms in the country. And we started reforms in Odessa Customs, and we started it 10 months ago. Last year, I was appointed by the president, and the main idea of my appointment was to show that customs can work without corruption and that it is real to in introduce uh, automated modern custom. So we, uh, we uh, gathered new stuff, we created legislature, and step by step uh, we introduced this project. And uh, during these 10 months, we had to face with many different problems. And sometimes, because of stubborn blocking by uh, fiscal service that it uh, wanted to prevent changes, it was difficult to achieve results, because uh, uh, all steps that we made to create something new, they stopped these efforts. At that, we were able to achieve success and change in the customs and uh, even in this corrupt system. This was one of the most corrupt customs office, and it can be associated now with uh, something where you can work without any bribes, a place where there is hope that you will uh, undergo all the procedures easily. So these are the results that we reached during this time in Odessa Customs. We reduced the uh, time of clearance, you can see, from four hours to 35 minutes, then the time of international transit also, it is important that the control got better and the number of protocols of complaints reduced. This is an interesting slide that shows that previously uh, verifications, there were five times more checks. So five times uh, more freights were stopped and uh, fines were introduced only for uh, 40 million grievances, and now they for, for, for 103 million, but uh, the freights are uh, checked five times less. So the effectiveness of work r rose, and uh, the service became much better for business. Also, good support of this is that now at the Customs, uh, is um, uh, supported by European Business Association, American uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce, and also we communicate with business on a regular basis, and this is our main partner and our main support. Here you can see that in Odessa Customs, uh, starting from 2016, uh, they clear uh, 453 uh, companies that uh, they um, used other uh, customs, but then they decided that it will be more comfortable and easy to work with us without any corruption. It is easier to work with us because of uh, 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 um, corruption is absent. So the main idea why we work in this uh, customs is to launch new um, area of clearance in uh, at seaport hall. So uh, we delivered a press conference several months ago. We told about the details how this open uh, custom space will work, about the clearance, the speed of clearance, and the new rules, the new attitude, and new procedures. And uh, where is this project uh, right now? The project that was positioned that one, as one of the priorities. Now the customs reform is um, sh uh, shown as a flag uh, flagman of Ukrainian reforms. Two months ago, Ukrainian customs was uh, uh, visited uh, was attended by Mr. Groisman, and he showed his support. 
and he uh, made an order to uh, help us to launch this project. For you to understand, this project can be launched in uh, four or six months, and for ten, uh, ten months we are working in order to uh, give the chance to do this. We uh, gathered uh, 142 people who, uh, from thousands of people who applied. These are different people, and uh, with the help of American Embassy, they uh, were trained uh, in the United States uh, and CBP uh, service helped them, and also they worked with European specialists from the Obama organization. These are people who were trained in Khmelnytsky, Khmelnytsky Center, and uh, these are people who are ready to work, and they are ready to work honestly. We did our work, and now we need support from the central level. So. Prime Minister gave the uh, order to the uh, head of the fiscal service uh, to help no, Roman uh, Nasirov to help and to, to uh, do with uh, some staff issues. You know that this is a pers uh, really important issue because, uh, for example, there are 1,400 people who work in the customs service and there are uh, heads of different levels, but it is very important that uh, the key positions uh, should be held by people who underwent some contests, people with good reputation, with good knowledge, and uh, because uh, these are the hands and operational main work that of any service. So uh, what we face now is that the uh, customs uh, cannot appoint the heads and cannot uh, carry out contests for the positions of heads. And um, uh, some uh, deputies were sent to me, but I didn't see these people. And uh, after Prime Minister came, one of these deputies, Mr. Margun, was called off to Kiev, back to Kiev. And uh, now all the middle le uh, level of management cannot be appointed. So. Uh, issues of personnel are um, taken care of by state fiscal service. So we see the um, conservation of the old post-Soviet corrupt system. And uh, this is a patient and conservation is headed by N Mr. Nasirov. And I cannot understand why such people who just terrorize business and who doesn't change everything uh, while uh, managing the system. Nothing changes in the custom sphere. And these people continue to manage such a, an important institution. And from those orders that to Mr. Raman uh, had while there was a visit of the prime minister, nothing was done. And the uh, personnel issues uh, were blocked. And now we filed to the court um, against the uh, state aid fiscal service in order to carry out contest. And, uh, uh, to, um, for the positions of um, the um, uh, personnel of the customs office. So at the moment, uh, these elementary issues. So uh, in these 10 months, uh, while I was working in Odessa Customs, I got uh, three complaints. And in two months after the uh, the Prime Minister came, I had the, the fourth uh, complaint against me. So on Friday, as the result, uh, we see it as a motivation to move forward, but the situation looks weird. Is this not willing to carry out the order, or maybe it's difficult to say what it is? Maybe some crisis in the management when there is uh, an order, but no one executes this order. The situation is weird also with the software. In order to make this change we are talking about, there are key things. This is new legislation. We followed uh, the way shown by the um, Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Minister provision, and it um, I is undergoing review. And now we are not even at the stage to start the work. The same with the software. Now, the software of all customs. Uh, 
uh, of Ukraine uh, is, uh, is managed by department staffed with th three people that carry out tasks and coordinate the service. These are programmers uh, who in uh, enter the information, but these people, from one side, they are fully controlled, and from the other side, they are not professional enough. Because the simplest tasks, when we are, sp we are speaking about implementation of uh, simple instruments in order to modernize the work of custom service, these are the implementation of automated system of uh, uh, di distribution of declarations. It means that, uh, for example, one inspector cannot uh, just choose with what uh, person or company to work with. So uh, these, uh, there were some incidents when uh, an inspector, he always worked with uh, some company, and this was a coordinated effort in order to break this circle. We uh, proposed uh, the automated uh, distribution of declarations, and after long negotiations at different level in the at the Cabinet of Ministers, the, it reached the stage that this implement is implemented uh, at the level of uh, electronic uh, queue, and the inspectors get these uh, uh, declarations, and there is no automatization uh, of the process. So now we see that uh, uh, it's not uh, customs reform, it's an imitation of the customs reform. And uh, this is not normal, and we are interested in the results, and we can, uh, would like to show how normal, modern customs office can work that can be competitive in the world, and that uh, would show that uh, something uh, changed. And we face the situation that now new people a new deputy of head of uh, state fiscal service of Draman Nasirov, Mr. Miroslav Prodan. He says that in, with Ukrainian mentality, it is unreal to implement such a project where there is no corruption, that our mentality prevents this. But I would like to state that Due to our mentality, we will be able to do uh, everything because uh, people just uh, should not interfere in these processes. And we should implement reforms, and uh, this open custom space will be implemented. Mm, but there is an open sabotage at the level of um, uh, state fiscal service. And uh, it is inimaginable that this uh, head of the service, he says such words. He went to Georgia, he saw how this was implemented there, all these procedures, how it works, and then we are brought to the conclusions that we as Ukrainians can do it. Uh, we can, and we should make effort in order to do this. I think that it is very important to state that we shouldn't postpone changes. We should accelerate changes in order that this project started uh, and uh, we introduced the changes. We should replace the management. Not uh, These are not only my, wor my words. This is the words of Ukrainian business. This is, uh, these are the words of our international partners for whom Nasira was associated with shock number two. And uh, I believe that it's time to take important decisions and uh, uh, what we need to do to realize this project is to get support from society, to get support of uh, the media, and I believe that our joint effort, our joint pressure, because during these 10 months we work together and I informed the public about the events, uh, the customs, and I got feedback and support from people, from business community, from media community, and due to this, I uh, got these reprimands, but they were lifted in a dem democratic way, and uh, now we work and we show good results. And uh, I ask you to support us in order this project to be implemented, and these uh, 124 people who were qual uh, quality trained, that they got this place of employment and they uh, should get a uh, good salary because everything is possible to do. And uh, if you have some questions, I will be glad to answer. So uh, please show the video you promised. Uh, this is uh, the new <coughs> deputy of Mr. Nasirov. Uh, 
in Ukraine who is responsible for customs. I was uh, very much uh, <clears throat> surprised and astonished with what was said at this meeting. The sin is not in the name which our program will have in customs and fiscal service. The sin is, uh, the point is how the legislation is applied on a local level. A lacking of positive uh, practices. Uh, what should we take as lessons learned? as a state uh, overall. Mentally, Georgians uh, have gone far from us. We are far behind. The only thing uh, which I am ready to is uh, to increase salaries to our staff. Uh, you can improve uh, the reporting, you can improve procedures and make them electronic procedures, uh, but regions uh, with extra powers, uh, this is nonsense. I believe this situation has no uh, perspective. Uh, it is not promising. The systems uh, uh, which are offered to us, uh, we are not ready to implement them in Ukraine physically, taking into account the difference between uh, the area of Georgia and Ukraine. I hope uh, that our project uh, has the right to uh, survive, to live, and we will implement it. And now the questions. Nadia Patranyuk, News One Channel. Uh, could you comment in detail the claim which you already mentioned against the State Fiscal Service? It was uh, filed on July 15th. What is the status of this case, and uh, do you believe you can win in it? Uh, eh. uh, there were some reprimands against you. And uh, you told the absurd or specific. What is the absurdity or specifics of this reprimands? Uh, what claims? Uh, what you are blamed in? Uh, all reprimands have not been uh, lifted from me. The last reprimand was uh, that uh, the. Uh, uh, violations of the previous three reprimands have not been corrected. One of reprimands con concerning implementation of uh, UN software. Uh, we started the negotiations process and for the attempt to implement uh, this uh, was uh, the case what uh, for I was reprimanded, but uh, the software and all principles of our activities, they were reconciled and approved by the state fiscal service. And only with time we received uh, reprimands and calls that what we are doing, this could not be done you will be liable for the implementation of the new software. So very uh, strange uh, 
attitudes to us. As the second was about the competition uh, for those vacancies uh, which are one level down than my uh, vac my post. Uh, according to the new law, Odessa Regional Customs uh, is the board responsible for such competition, for such selection of uh, uh, candidates for vacancies, uh, but uh, this competition, uh, this selection of um, <clears throat> uh, persons uh, to, um, for civil servant positions uh, in uh, the ADS uh, customs top management, and this selection procedure is about to end, and we are <clears throat> At the early stage, we filed a claim to the court. The lawyers have already received the writ. As soon as the first sitting will be um, scheduled, I will tell you. Could you tell us, please? Not so long ago, my friends, decided to accreditate at this uh, customs service and uh, uh, we asked, uh, we started to find information and we were advised to go to customs broker. The broker offered us to pay a bribe Now, I have a question. So is it really legal to address this uh, broker? Is this uh, official? Because it discredits your work and what you do. I don't know. They just make shame out of it. Do you understand Ukrainian? Yes. The situation with brokers is ambiguous, and uh, according to Ukrainian legislation, brokers are legal, and they uh, can help with clearance, and they are official intermediaries between business and customs. Today, business cannot directly come to customs and uh, to get service. They first should address to brokers, and then brokers work with customs office. What we propose in this pilot project that any can, anyone can uh, work through broker through uh, customs at one's uh, will. And for this, we need the provision of the cabinet of ministers. Uh, you say that about the format that works at the moment in Georgia, when you can come or to send your documents and to copy them, and all the procedures will be started. You don't need broker out there. But the situation is here that, according to legislation here in Ukraine, you need a broker. That's why the activity is absolutely legal. But I hope that when we start this project, yes, uh, now brokers, they are not only intermediaries in the legal cases, they are also intermediaries in corruption. But there is lack of political will in order to organize this work correctly in the sphere. And uh, we propose that you could come to the customs office directly and to, or to send your documents. And um, according to legislation, we don't have such a right now. And we hope for the support of the cabinet of ministers. In this case, we will be, a work, uh, we will be working. And uh, um, as to technical details, I will tell you about more after our press conference. Next question. Yulia, tell us, please, about the information that the Libidinska Galina uh, you said that uh, uh, there is drop in the freight uh, transportation, freight, tra uh, freight traffic, and uh, how the the port works now, and uh, what is the delay in the. Uh, check and uh, verification of the freight. Thank you for your question. It is a broad issue. 
If you are speaking about uh, freight transportation, so you should speak about the period. It is stated that in, in 2013, uh, it was uh, dec uh, and in 2016, there is, was a drop of 2.5%. So we have five uh, seaports, and one of them is a Dessa seaport. And, uh, um, and uh, 65%, uh, they go through Odessa Oblast, this freight, and uh, uh, Chernomorsk and Yuzhny port and Odessa seaport. So there is a great flow, and I cannot give you the information uh, about all the ports, but these are the biggest gates to Ukraine. As to freight transportation, it's not the issue of customs. It, this is the reflection of economic situation in the country on the whole. So uh, big companies are afraid to go here because there is a stereotype that in Ukraine there is war and the, no one knows what will happen to the freight. But we have an interesting market and the drop for 2% from uh, the, that level, it's not a dramatic fall on the whole. And now the indicators go up and as to budget payments from Odessa Customs last month, these were better than uh, the same months the previous year. So it's about one billion a month and dynamics is good. And of course we have uh, a plan of 1.5 billion, but uh, the payments from Odessa says, uh, Customs is one billion and dynamics is positive. Andrei Megel, member of Investment Commission of uh, Northern Region, we engage in a testation in police process. You uh, address the matter of corruption and non-corruption, whether the testation will take place uh, if political will is uh, in place. We are very interested in this. We have uh, uh, addressed and we have lifted this uh, uh, matter because it is very uh, important to renew the stuff in such uh, borders. Uh, customs uh, inspectors are not attested uh, at present. There is a new law on customs. Uh, we try to implement it when uh, 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 higher manager may um, assess performance uh, of uh, his uh, subordinates. There are some different versions, but we do not have such attestation processes as they are in police. Uh, uh, we have uh, <coughs> uh, uh, already started the process uh, of uh, sh shorting our staff. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Ms. Maryshevska, and goodbye.